but still it should be monitored. So when we went, they wanted to take the handcuff on out. The handcuffs wouldn't come. The keys could not open. So they crack a joke by saying, okay, we are going to cut your hands to take it off. I said, oh, that's fine. Cutting my hands will be quicker. Do it. Let's just do that. Then they laughed and uh, took me back to the car. We went around to look for a welding workshop. And there was no electricity around that end. We went far, some two kilometers. We had electricity, so a walk, uh, we came to a workshop where there was light. And this, uh, when they talked to the guy, then he brought his machines and cut the handcuffs off. On Saturday, this last Saturday. Yeah, that was the date. Yeah. And when we went to Banjul, I was taken to a place called Bambadinka, the crocodile's hole. That was where I was first kept. For one, two, three, four, fifty days, they brought in somebody else, a young man, a young little boy like this one, who they said put on a t-shirt, Gambia has decided. About 12 or 1 in the night, they brought in this young man. And uh, they beat him on the way, according to him, because he was crying, and they threatened him saying they were going to kill him. They were taking him to where they were going to kill him. He told me he was only picked because of the T-shirt. I said, then, it's likely tomorrow you will go. They will leave you to go home. Then I gave him one of the cardboards. Then he also used that one. Well, after a while, he got up again, crying, you know, and telling, oh, my mother, I never thought things are going to happen. Oh, no. Tijan? Tijan Bera? I don't really know him. Anyway, they never, until the day they left me, they just said, oh, tomorrow you will go back home. Nobody even asked me a single question. And I learned even the director general of uh, the NIA said he was not told as to why I was brought there. And as I told you, the junglers took, always take directives from the president, Yaya Jamil, at the time, only. So it was he who sent them to pick me.